This is a guitar lesson for a wise woman by Jason Mraz. Hey, how's it going? My name's Dave from Guitarico.com and each week I'll put up brand new guitar lessons of all the latest hits. If you're into new music and guitar lessons and you like to play, hit subscribe. You'll be kept up to date for every Friday when they get released. This lesson also comes with a free download of the chords and the lyrics if you want to sing and play it. Make sure to grab it above. Anyways, let's get into the lesson. So with this song, we have a capo on the fourth fret. So for this Jason Mraz song, we are going to play primarily open chords. There is a B minor stuck in later on. There are ways around that too, if you don't play bar chords. So here's the deal. You heard the rhythm from the preview and it is simply one and two and three and four and one and you're going to do that on every single bar. Okay, so the deal with that is, you can see that with my palm here, I'm just stopping on the strings and strumming up. So if you've never done like a ska, sort of a reggae rhythm before, that would be the deal. So just down, up, down, up, like that. And you're going to do that on D, E minor, G and D. Now, if you look at the fourth bar, you'll see it repeats. And we do that top line three times. And towards the end of the verse then, because all this covers the verse, we have D, E minor, so now I'm looking at the second line. Then we have G, and that sort of see-through stroke, that means that that G rings out for four beats. So it'd go like this from the second line. So go three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, and da 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 da. Now that brings us into the chorus. Then the chorus is just that top line played on a loop. It's played like four times. So you go D, E minor, G, and D. So really, that will bring you through the chorus, and then we're in verse two. And again. If you have any questions at any stage, just uh, post a comment below. I'll be happy to help you if you have any challenges or struggles with this. But I just got to know what they are first. So, verse 2, let's take a look. Alright, so you may have looked at it and gone, not much has changed. Well, not much has changed. Just the second line goes for B minor. Okay, and again, the simpler version is that one if you want to use it. Right, so that would be verse 2. Now... If you want to have a play along with me, I'm going to play all this together. So here we go. So one, two, three, four. One, two, and three. E minor, then G, then D. Now we're going to start that line all over again. Here we go. Two, three, E minor. Last time, top line, D, E minor, G, last D. Now, here comes the B minor. G, now watch the last two. Two, three, and da, da, da. Right, and that brings us into the second chorus. Now, with the B minor line, you'll notice that on the recording there is a bit of a... Which you're welcome to do by ear if you wish. I just said I'd keep it straightforward with the rhythm the whole way through for this lesson. Now, that brings us into the second chorus, which is the exact same as the first chorus top line just on repeat and even the mm, 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 all that is still the same chords and the breakdown is again it's all the same and that covers the whole song so again if you want to grab that sheet to look through the chords and the lyrics i'd suggest to do that just it will clear up a few bits in terms of structure this is simply laying the foundations 
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching to the end. If you have any questions, as I've said, just post a comment below. I'll be happy to answer. Remember to sub to keep up to date for all the latest lessons. And remember, you can grab your free download above.